Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. In this video, I'll be discussing everything you need to know about myasthenia gravis, including its causes, symptoms, treatment options, and much more. So, let's get started. How do muscles work? What is myasthenia gravis? Understanding the basics. Myasthenia gravis is a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disorder that affects the muscles in the body. This condition is caused by an abnormal immune response that attacks the receptors responsible for transmitting signals between the nerves and the muscles. Let me explain what I mean by this. Nerves carry signals and commands to the muscles. Each muscle has a specific nerve that splits into smaller branches to supply the smaller muscle fibers. The junction where the nerves join the muscle is called the neuromuscular junction. In this junction, a chemical called acetylcholine is released. This is a neurotransmitter. The job of acetylcholine is to attach to the muscle receptors called acetylcholine receptors and carry the signal to the muscle causing it to tighten or contract on command. In people with myasthenia gravis their immune system creates antibodies to block, change or destroy the acetylcholine receptors on the muscle. This means the signals from the nerves to the muscles are weak and as a result the muscles are not stimulated properly. This causes the muscles to contract poorly, become easily tired, weak, and not function properly. How common is it and who is affected? Myasthenia gravis is a rare condition affecting about 20 per 100,000 people globally. It can occur at any age, but it is more common in women under the age of 40 and men over the age of 50. The severity of the symptoms can range from mild to severe, and in some cases, the condition can be life-threatening, especially if it affects the muscles involved in breathing. The Mysterious Causes of Myasthenia Gravis, Unraveling the Risk Factors Although the exact cause of this condition is still unknown, Researchers have identified several risk factors that can contribute to its development. Let's take a closer look at these risk factors and try to uncover the mystery behind myasthenia gravis. First up, genetics. If you have a family history of myasthenia gravis, you may be at a higher risk of developing the condition yourself. Studies have shown that up to 3% of people with myasthenia gravis have a close relative who also has the condition. However, having a family history of the condition doesn't necessarily mean that you will develop it yourself. It's just one of the many factors that can contribute to the development of this condition. Next, environmental factors. Certain medications, such as antibiotics and heart medications, have been linked to the development of myasthenia gravis, although this is very rare. Additionally, viral infections, such as the Epstein-Barr virus and the flu, may trigger the onset of myasthenia gravis in some individuals. Again, this is very rare. Age and gender also play a role in the development of myasthenia gravis. The condition is more common in women under the age of 40 and men over the age of 50. Additionally, if you have other autoimmune disorders, such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, you may be at a higher risk of developing myasthenia gravis. What causes abnormal antibodies to be made? The exact reason why the body's immune system starts to make abnormal antibodies which attack the muscle receptors is not known. These abnormal antibodies are made in various parts of the immune system. Primarily in the thymus gland, but also in the bone marrow, blood, and lymph nodes. Symptoms of myasthenia gravis. Imagine you wake up in the morning feeling sluggish, but you blame it on a bad night's sleep. You go about your day as usual, but you notice that your vision is blurry and you're having difficulty speaking and swallowing. Suddenly, the thought hits you, could this be myasthenia gravis? Let's explore the most common symptoms of this sneaky condition and how they can impact your daily life. The most common symptom is muscle weakness that becomes worse with activity and gets better with rest. This can affect any part of the body however muscles around the eyes are most commonly affected first. You may find that your eyelids droop, 
making it difficult to keep your eyes open or even see properly. You may also have difficulty speaking or swallowing, which can make mealtimes frustrating. Difficulty lifting heavy objects because your grip may be weakened, making even simple tasks like carrying groceries a challenge. Double vision or blurred vision is another common symptom of myasthenia gravis. This can make activities like reading, driving, and watching TV challenging. You may also experience fatigue, both physical and mental, which can make it difficult to keep up with your usual routine. You may find that you need to take frequent breaks throughout the day or that you have difficulty concentrating or staying alert. Other symptoms of myasthenia gravis can include difficulty breathing, which can be frightening and potentially life-threatening. You may also experience drooping of the head or neck, which can be painful and make it difficult to hold your head up. All of these symptoms can have a significant impact on your daily life, making it difficult to work, socialize, and enjoy the activities you love. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to talk to your doctor right away to get the help you need to manage this condition and improve your quality of life. How Myasthenia Gravis is Diagnosed If you're experiencing symptoms of myasthenia gravis, you're probably wondering what's causing them and how to get a proper diagnosis. Let's take a closer look at the diagnostic process so you know what to expect when you visit your doctor. The first step in diagnosing myasthenia gravis is to discuss your symptoms with your doctor. They may ask you questions about your medical history, including any medications you're taking or any other health conditions you have. They may also perform a physical exam to look for signs of muscle weakness or other symptoms. After the initial consultation, your doctor may refer you to a specialist, such as a neurologist or a neuromuscular specialist. These doctors have specific expertise in diagnosing and treating conditions that affect the nerves and muscles. To confirm a diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, your doctor may perform a variety of tests. Blood tests, such as the anti-acetylcholine receptor antibody test, may also be performed to check for antibodies that are often present in people with myasthenia gravis. One common test is called an electromyography EMG, which measures the electrical activity of your muscles. Another test is called a nerve conduction study, which measures how quickly electrical signals travel along your nerves. Another important diagnostic tool is a medication test. Your doctor may give you a drug called Tensilin, which temporarily improves the symptoms of myasthenia gravis in many people. If your symptoms improve after taking this medication, it can help confirm a diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. It's worth noting that the diagnostic process for myasthenia gravis can be challenging and may take some time. This is because the condition can be difficult to diagnose, and the symptoms can vary from person to person. In some cases, additional tests may be needed to rule out other conditions that can cause similar symptoms. Treatment Options and Strategies If you've been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, you may be wondering what treatment options are available to manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Let's take a closer look at the different approaches that can be used to treat myasthenia gravis. There are several types of medication that can be used to improve the symptoms of myasthenia gravis. These may include anticholinesterase inhibitors for example, pyridostigmine, which help to increase the levels of acetylcholine in the body, or immunosuppressant drugs, for example, azathioprine, which work by reducing the activity of the immune system. Your doctor will work with you to determine the best medications for your individual situation and adjust the dosage as needed. Steroid medication, for example prednisolone, helps suppress the immune system and is commonly used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Treatment with steroids can last several months and the dose is gradually reduced once the symptoms are under control. In addition to medication, there are other strategies that can be used to manage myasthenia gravis. These may include lifestyle changes, such as getting enough rest and avoiding triggers that can worsen symptoms, as well as physical therapy and other rehabilitative techniques to help improve muscle strength and function. In some cases, more aggressive treatments may be needed to manage myasthenia gravis. For example, plasmapheresis or intravenous immunoglobulin IVIG, may be used to remove harmful antibodies from the bloodstream or provide temporary relief from symptoms. 
In rare cases, surgery may be necessary to remove the thymus gland, which is sometimes associated with myasthenia gravis. Prognosis and Outlook People with myasthenia gravis usually have a normal life expectancy if they are on treatment. Without treatment, it can be a life-threatening disease that significantly reduces a person's lifespan. The symptoms and effects of myasthenia gravis can vary person to person and can range from mild to severe so the treatment is patient-specific. Finding Support and Resources If you've been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, you may be feeling overwhelmed or uncertain about what the future holds. It's important to know that you're not alone and that there are many resources and support systems available to help you manage your condition and improve your quality of life. Here are some of the steps you can take. Connect with a healthcare provider who specializes in myasthenia gravis for ongoing medical support and guidance. Join a patient advocacy group, such as the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation of America or the Muscular Dystrophy Association, for information, resources, and advocacy. Participate in online support groups or forums to connect with others who are living with myasthenia gravis and share your experiences. Work with a counselor or therapist who can provide emotional support and help you navigate the challenges of living with a chronic condition. Prioritize self-care, including getting regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep. Find activities or hobbies that bring you joy and fulfillment, such as reading, listening to music, or spending time with loved ones. Consider participating in clinical trials or research studies to help advance knowledge and treatment options for myasthenia gravis. Educate yourself about your condition and stay up to date on the latest research and treatment options. Reach out for help and support whenever you need it, you're not alone in this journey. Conclusion Myasthenia gravis is a complex condition that affects the muscles and can cause significant challenges for those living with it. However, with proper treatment and support, individuals with myasthenia gravis can lead a fulfilling life. And that's it guys, I tried to make myasthenia gravis super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.